Welcome back to the first shark video of 2024. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why I think within the next year is the best chance we've ever had of confirming great white sharks in these British waters you see behind me. We'll discuss the O-Search expedition. I've been talking to their expedition lead and also my own endeavors and just general sea adventure. I've got the sea kayak with me today. Beautiful winter's day. Let's get out there. The wind's picked up a little bit since we've been out, but she'll be all right. Before I tell you why I think this is the year, and for those benefit who've not seen all the videos, I'm gonna do a one minute to two minute breakdown of why I think the sharks are here. First things first, common misconception. UK waters are too cold for great white sharks. Great white sharks are a lamina day shark, so they can regulate their own body temperature in much colder environments, such as the short fin mako, the poor beagle, which are in our waters. The poor beagle, by the way, there was one caught just out there about three months ago on a small fishing boat, just like my warrior. And they are the closest living relative to the great white shark. Also, the coldest ever recorded shark attack was in six to eight degrees Celsius water. The water today that I am in is 11 degrees Celsius. And in summer, certainly here on the island, near Cornwall, etc., you're looking at the realms of 17 to 20 degrees Celsius. So well within range. She's picking up, boy. Food sources, is there anything for them to eat in our waters? First things first, Scotland has the biggest seal colony in Europe and the second biggest seal colony in the world, I believe. Plenty for them to eat. Certainly where I live, there's plenty of seals. There's one that seems to frequent this area and you've seen me free dive the seal colony at the south of the island, plenty. What about sightings? I did a full video on sightings. We haven't had many recently, but the blue fox encounter, I would say, and the one up in Ullapool are probably the two best. There's a video on the channel discussing those in a bit more detail, go check those out. The closest ever recorded shark to British waters was in the Bay of Biscay, 177 nautical miles from England. That's absolutely nothing. In fact, Cornwall is probably 200 nautical miles from where I am right now. The conditions here have got a little bit worse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the boat in. We've been out here about half an hour. I did have a little fish, but there's nothing around. The wind's picked up, so I'll bring it in and then we'll discuss why I think this is the year. Okay, so now we're back on dry land. Why do I think this is the best chance we've had of confirming great white sharks in British waters? And as I've discussed in all my videos, I am not a conspiracist. The scientific data supports that they should be within this. These waters, quite simply optimal for their habitat, very similar to South Africa, but no one's ever come across them. They've never been photographed properly. One's never washed up on a beach. I've mentioned in the past about O-Search, the North American shark tagging organization who go out off the East Coast of the United States tagging great white sharks all the way up to Canada. They've tagged hundreds of sharks. Well, they were supposed to come to the UK and Europe last year and the year before, but it never happened. However, and this is where it gets exciting, I have been speaking to Chris Fisher and it is confirmed they are coming. They've got the funding, they've got the green light, they're coming to Europe. However, and this is where it gets a little bit spicy, they're coming to Spain, they're coming to France, they're coming to the west coast of Ireland. They're obviously going to try and tag the Mediterranean white shark population, which has never properly been done and see where they go. But they're not coming to the UK. And Chris was quite open about it. He said to me, bear in mind, I'm not affiliated with O-Search in any way. UK scientists would not support the expedition, not because they didn't believe in it, not because they don't think they're here, because they were worried about the media backlash. And there's quite a few people who have influence, wealthy people in Cornwall that obviously wouldn't want this being confirmed in our wars because it could affect them, their properties, tourism. Bit disappointed that the Sharks Trust never got involved. However, they're here for 50 days. They're fully funded. They're gonna chum all the way around, tag the Sharks. And he said, if they do tag anything in the Mediterranean, they are gonna come up through British waters. 
irrespective of having scientific support from the UK. They're perfectly licensed to do it. There's no issues with it. So they will come through British waters if they tag anything in the Mediterranean. So I'm not saying that a great white is going to be caught while out chumming or anything like that in British waters. What I actually think will happen, similar to the migratory patterns in the east coast of America, the white sharks move north later on in the year. I think if they do tag any white sharks in the Bay of Biscay area, in the Mediterranean, certainly in France, close to us, they will be tracked heading north through our waters, either west coast of Ireland, up into Scotland, possibly past where I live on the Isle of Man. And that's how we'll confirm it. It's exciting news. I'm really excited to see what happens. I did have an invite to go on board. Uh, I haven't really chased that up. Let's see how that goes. So let's now discuss what I'm gonna do on my channel going forward. So where does that leave me and my endeavors? Well, to be honest with you, I've covered pretty much everything I think I can cover scientifically and all the sightings up to date where we're at now. I'm not going to just keep making videos for the sake of it. There's nothing else new to say. So going forward, I still will be getting out on the boats, exploring. It will be more from a sea adventure angle. Uh, of course, I will be searching for marine life. I live in a Baskin shark hotspot. You know, we've had all sorts of different types of species, swordfish, humpback whales in our waters. So I'll be looking for those as well. Poor beagle sharks, mako sharks. Obviously, it would be great to come across a great white. Whether that happens or not, highly unlikely, let's be honest. I'm only going to cover shark-related videos going forward if A, a sighting that I think is worth covering comes up, or if something large washes up on our shores like we saw with the uh, small tooth sand tiger sharks last year. I think I just keep it real, guys. I'm not going to become one of those people that bangs out videos week after week. I mean, I don't think I've covered a shark video in months. Uh, just for the sake of the YouTube algorithm, I've got a perfectly good job. I have no desire to become a YouTuber as a career. I do this as a hobby, so I hope you can appreciate that. Where I'm up to with the boats, I've sold the warrior boat. The engine was knackered and it was going to cost the best part of £9,000 to replace it. And I wasn't going to do that on a boat from 1998. Let's face it, I'm not willing to spend that amount of money on something that old. So I think going forward, I'd like to buy a rib. For now, we've got the sibs, we've got the soft hull inflatables. I've just upgraded to a 20 horsepower Tahatsu brand new engine and also an extreme trailer so I can go all around the island without having to inflate and deflate. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be quite exciting. So anyway, guys, what do you think? Do you think they're in these waters? I ask in every video. You know, it's interesting. Look at the shark tracker from Osearch. If they tag a shark at later on this year in the Med or off France or wherever, we will see where it tracks. And it's going to be interesting because I do personally believe Mark my words, they track up north, certainly towards Scotland. The orca population up there is not enough to scare off the great whites. That's a behavior that's learned. I don't think they have that in that pod, but who knows? I am not a marine biologist. And I'm basically, I'm asking the question, why aren't they here? Because they should be. Don't think there's anything to be worried about guys, by the way, our waters are perfectly safe. Even if they confirmed great white sharks were here tomorrow, I'd carry on swimming in the sea here. Just while I've been sat here now, I did a quick Q and A on Instagram. So I'm making a video. Okay, so straight up, Welsh adventurer. How long do sharks live for? Well, the Greenland shark can live up to 250 years, which is insane. C. Sanchez 95, any more credible great white shark sightings in the UK? Nope, there are none that I know of. The British media every summer go mental, posting great white shark stuff all over the internet, uh, but there's been nothing credible. Finch Neal, an Australian manxman. Would you free dive with a tiger shark or great white if the opportunity came about? Uh, well, I have free dived with tiger sharks in the Cayman Islands and Australia. And uh, as far as the great white came, if one of them came up to the boat, I don't think I'd be jumping in with it personally, but we see. Grey Jack, how would you react if you came face to face with the great white in British waters? I don't know what I'd react, to be honest. I think my first objective would be to film it as much as possible. Uh, I have come face to face with a great white but it wasn't a cage and it was shark cage diving on the Neptune Islands in Australia. Uh, Jordan Bullock, are there any sharks that could be potentially dangerous when swimming in Cornwall further out? No, I wouldn't be worried about it, mate. Obviously the short fin Atlantic Mako shark is confirmed in our waters. They're probably the most credible dangerous shark that we know of. There was believed to be an oil rig shark attack off the North Sea in the late nineties, I believe. But again, I don't really know the details of that one off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, perfectly safe, mate, perfectly safe. My biggest objective right now is to find wild orcas. They come past the island every year off the west coast of the island, heading up to Scotland. So 
If we get that shout, especially having the boat with the trailer, I'm going to go full send and try and find them. One other thing, at Wakeham this week, North Sea Surfer on Instagram sent me a picture of a, a seal that had uh, clearly been bitten in half. Uh, he said it was still bleeding when it washed up on the beach. Uh, there were fins spotted in the area, possibly dolphins, uh, but couldn't obviously say. But uh, as far as the current adventure goes for me, stay tuned. We'll see how the channel goes. I'm only going to post shark content if it's actually viable. And obviously I'll keep you updated with those searches endeavors because I do speak to Chris Fisher now and then. But I'm really excited for the summer. It's only February, first sea adventure in the books. I'm really looking forward to getting out there on the inflatable boats and seeing what else marine life and sea adventure and camping off the remote beaches and diving, free diving we can do. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.